G'day everyone, Jason Haynes here from QPL Rural, right here in Narendra, Tamora and Leeton, with another look around what's been happening in the Riverina this last week. Well, another strong week if you're in the livestock industry. Wool certainly jumped up again this week and a good rebound after the, the falls of the last few weeks. And lamb, if you're in that sucker lamb market, that certainly rebounded this week as well with prices well up into the dollar and a bit over for young, good, well-finished sucker lambs. So great to see some really good news coming out of that space at the moment. In other livestock markets this week, well, the Eastern Young Cattle Indicator was sitting just below that $5 a kilo carcass weight. The National Trade Limb Indicator is hovering around that $8 or 800 cents, and the mutton job still at 554 cents per kilo carcass weight. In water trading this week, well, locally we're seeing prices around that $600 a megalitre for surface water on the Murrumbidgee. For Lower Murrumbidgee bore water, we are seeing prices around that sort of $220 a megalitre at the moment. We do have uh, a number of people that have water available at 250 at the moment. I just sense that market is firming a little bit and will be interesting to see how the season goes and how much of that summer crop does actually eventuate. Now, as I said, Murrumbidgee temporary water sitting around that $600 a megalitre. We do have a parcel there available at 610 at the moment if anyone is, in, is interested. If you're down in Zone 10 in the Murray system, you're looking at just above at $620 a megalitre or just above. But if you're lucky enough to hold water below the choke, you're sitting at numbers around that $800 a megalitre. Now, I do have buy orders for Lower Murrumbidgee Zone 3 water and for Mid Murrumbidgee bore water as well. So if you've got any, any at the moment and you're looking to move that on, please give me a call in this space. In rural property this week, well, I have been fortunate enough to list two large dairy operations down at Finley this week both with good grass on them, both with good water holdings and good production capacity. If you'd like any more information on these two, please give me a call there because uh, there is a good opportunity here for something to be had on these forage-producing machines. Now, speaking of dairy, I have had some increased interest in that dairy space at the moment. That dairy market is going very well, and we are getting some investor inquiries at the moment, both from private investors and overseas investors at the moment. So if you're looking to uh, if you're looking to move your property, we are getting some interest there, particularly properties with good water holdings at the moment. So uh, yeah, that dairy space is starting to kick off now. It's been a long time coming, but uh, please give me a call if you're in that dairy space and you're perhaps looking to move your dairy property there anywhere throughout that uh, New South Wales, even into Victoria and over over to South Australia. I'd be interested in hearing what you've got to say there. In other properties, well, I will mention Homebush again this week. This is a great little starter block for somebody coming in at just over 1,246 acres. Got a four-bedroom home there, a two-stand shearing shed, good set of steel sheep yards and cattle yards there as well and assorted other shedding, including a good-sized machinery shed and lean-to workshop there. It is situated just 12 kilometres south of West Wylong there. And he's very well fenced with good cyclone and steel post fencing and is well watered with approximately 14 dams that are unbelievably very near full. Now a pitched home bush is a good starter block and that's probably exactly where it sits. With all the infrastructure there, home, somewhere to stay and a, a good entry level price there for somebody. It is advertised at $750 an acre. And let's face it, you won't buy too much at this price point anywhere throughout the River Anna at the moment. There's a very good grazing property, perfect for Aussie whites, goats or merinos and can opportunity be cropped. Most of the property can be cropped um, and would certainly suit somebody that wants to go in there and improve the country and get the occasional crop but focus on livestock over the next few years. Now uniquely this property is equidistant from Griffith, Wagga and Forbes sale yards and it's an ideal central location for somebody who wants to take a stand in the livestock industry at the moment. For anyone who's got carryover water at the moment, I'd just would like to mention, make a plan for the coming season. If it does remain dry, I suppose there is a very real risk there could be restrictions on the amount of carryover water that you can keep in your account in the next in the next season. So please just read up on this. There's a good link on H2OX that we'll send out as part of the newsletter there and just have a look at it. There's no point being caught with isolated assets like this, so be well versed in it if you're in the habit of keeping carryover water to start the next season. Now, in the wanted list, we have got good inquiry at the moment for people looking for good, reliable grazing and cropping country at the moment. So probably that 18 inches and above, 18 to 20 and above, 
yeah, if you've got any country like that that you're looking to move on, we do have active and qualified buyers at the moment that are looking to purchase in this space. Now, as always, if you'd like any more information on any one of our properties we've got listed here today or anything else, please feel free to give me a call at any time on 0488 594 450. I look forward to talking to you all again next week. Cheers.